Hi and welcome back. Today I am doing a collaboration with my friend Kristen from Beauty by Beautiful Disaster RN. I'm going to link her channel and her tutorial slash get ready with me down below. Um, she's super cool. I We like stumbled across each other because of panning and we've been on YouTube for about the same time amount of times. I love her. She's hilarious. Her bloopers that she leaves in the video, they crack me up and um, I just think she's great. We have a lot of the same taste in makeup and we both love color and um, she's got like the same type of sense of humor as I do. We just, we get along really well and I think she's a wonderful and glorious person. So we decided to collab on like a get ready with me slash tutorial. We both have industrial from MAC and it's one of their Pearl Glide eyeliners. There's a swatch of it. And it's beautiful. Um, I am panning mine because it's old and needs to be used up. And I think Kristen has just pulled hers out for, um, I think a project. I'm not really sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. So we decided to do our makeup both using industrial. So if you would like to see what I am going to do using industrial, then keep watching. And I'm going to link Kristen's video down below. So I hope you go and check her out because she's super awesome. I am going to do this half tutorial, half get ready with me. Some stuff I'll speed up and then some stuff I won't. I am almost done with the sample of um, the Smashbox primer. I really enjoy it. But I have two other samples, I think an Urban Decay and a NARS one that I'm going to have to use up. It's just painterly. I think I'm going to do something similar to this. That's my eyeball. Oh, on my Instagram. And that's using Industrial as a base. But I think this is my favorite look that I've done using that. Shameless plug, if you're not following me on Instagram, I post fairly often there. So I'm just gonna put industrial all over. I'm going to take Swish by MAC, my Dallium Tool 783 course. I'm actually going to place that as my crease shade. And then this is Sweet Lust from MAC as well. And I'm going to line that up on my brow bone. One of my favorite shadows in the entire world is MAC Stars and Rockets. This is my second pan of this I've gone through. And I'm going to place Stars and Rockets on the outer third corner. Take more of industrial and just place it Max Vanilla Pigment. I have a cap and this little Sephora Precision Shadow Brush. I take some out of there, swirl it around in my cap, and place it on my inner corner, fading it onto the the bluish. Blue pencil. And then I'll bring it up onto my brow bone. I'll use a little bit more stars and rockets. layers of colors until I'm happy with how it looks and then I'll blend out a little bit I 
And then if I blend away some of the blue, then I'll just go back in and place a little bit more blue. This time like more in the middle, I'm closer to my lash line. I'm gonna take my blending brush and a little bit more Stars and Rockets, just on the tip. I want a little bit more purple. And I'm gonna blend all this onto my, that bone, that your brow bone, using Stars and Rockets. And then I'll blend out with vanilla one more time, just whatever was left over on my little brush. I'm not done with my eyes yet, but I want to do my foundation real quick. I'm going to speed up this. L'Oreal True Match. I'm in the shade C3 right now. Estee Lauder's Double Wear Concealer. set and I'm gonna go back through and just finish up my eyes real quick I got this Sephora it's called my boyfriend's jeans it's one of their eye pencils this is one of the most intensely pigmented eye pencils ever okay taking max industrial again run it along my lower lash line. Vanilla pigment one more time as my inner corner highlight. Down and I'll bring it around a little bit. Halfway in. In that picture I used glitter eyeliner but I'm not really in the mood to do glitter eyeliner because I'm going to work. But I'm gonna take some MAC glitter. This is in Reflex Blue. Really hard to see on camera. Um, it literally reflects blue. It's like iridescent. So I'm gonna put that just on the ball. Maybelline came out with um, a new mascara. It's the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect. And I picked it up because I really like Maybelline mascaras. And the wand, the wand is nothing like their previous one. Um, I have tried it already yesterday. I tried it um, going to church. But I liked it okay. It, it's a little bit of a wetter formula, but it gives a lot of volume. Like a ton of volume. But that's what I'm looking for in my mascaras. I don't like it any more than the other, the, the original one. I think this brush is easier to work with because this one is like one, two, three. Five. This brush has like six different spoolie things and um, it's not bad. I'll definitely use it. I won't be returning it. And I haven't tried it on my bottom lashes, but the only thing that I really trust on my bottom lashes, bottom lashes is a MAC Giga Black because I know that this doesn't smudge and I don't want to be walking around at school like with smudged my lashes. That would be a little bit embarrassing. But that's one coat of that. Next, aphrodisiac. MAC. I'm going to use a different bronzer today. This is the Pixie one and the Big Old Delium Tools brush. But 
I've been enjoying this bronzer a lot. I don't like it more than my Bobbi Brown one. I think the Bobbi Brown one lasts all day. But now that I'm a little bit more pale in the winter, I've lost my tan. Um, this pixie one just, I think it looks a little, a little bit nicer. And it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Whereas the Bobbi Brown one is a matte bronzer. I know my camera's like, help me. I need a blush. What blush should we do? I'm gonna go in with this lighter blush. This is Max Dainty. It's just a, I think it's one of their mineral, mineral, yeah, it's a mineralized one. But it just gives a nice flush without being overpowering. working on it. The Milani's all natural. Okay, and this is Bobbi Brown's Beige 2. I don't think you can see that. Um, it has a little bit of a pinky. Um, I forgot highlighter. Should I use? What is the matter with you? Oh, you know what? I really, ow, I really liked how um, the vanilla pigment looked as a highlighter. So that's what I'm gonna do again. Just, and it matches my eyeshadow. So I will lay that down first. I'll just blend it out with this brush so I don't have to get another one dirty. Kristen, this one's in honor of you, in honor of your beloved Thunderstruck eyeshadow. As a highlight, I'm using Max Vanilla. Can you see that, the glitter? Now I'm ready for the day. I just have to put my pants on because I have pajama pants on. And I can't really go to work like that. So, yay! Thank you so much, Kristen, for asking me to collab with you using the wonderful Max Industrial. Oh, it's definitely going to be a repurchase whenever I am all out. And thank you for giving me that tip of putting it down as a base. Perfect, perfect. Like totally changed my life. And for those of you that don't know Kristen, go check her out. She's she's fun to watch and she does project pans and she just posted her first review on something that now I want to try. And she's just a like all around cool person. Lady, friend, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and I will see you later, bye. I was watching somebody here and she was doing her makeup and she didn't have the mascara face and she was putting on her mascara. I was like, oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> she was so pretty, like putting on her mascara and she was like, <laughs> my eyes are so strong. I like filming whenever I'm home alone. <laughs>